No doubt, every YouTuber's nightmare is to check their channel stats and see zero change. A few stagnant days or videos, maybe just bad luck, but if it goes on for a month or two or three, your channel might be dead. And still, I believe it's not the end of the line for your channel. In this video, I will teach you the basics of magic and break down how to revive a dead channel. Reviving a dead channel is a thorough and time-consuming task. Some might say a single video can do the trick but that's not entirely true. One hit video can give the channel a small boost, but if you follow it with your usual content, the impact of that hit video fades. Arm yourself with patience and time if you truly want to revive a dead channel. So, step one, dive deep into your content and how viewers responded to it. It might sound basic, but without this, reviving is impossible because to truly revive your channel, changes to your content are essential. If you don't know, what to tweak? Revival is off the table, so head to your channel's analytics and examine every aspect of your videos. Understand where they fall short. Are they not getting clicks? Maybe they are neither clicked nor watched. Did your channel's focus shift at some point? Perhaps you shifted gears promoting a different category or focusing on a new video style. This can hurt, especially for smaller channels, if the content doesn't resonate with your audience. Also, check out the the comments, they are gold, literally gold. Even with a small channel like in the community tab, your audience's preferences will often be voiced there. Pay attention to feedback. Among the commenters, you'll find personal reviews or topic suggestions almost every time. If you do have a community tab, consider polling your subscribers. Even dead channels have some life left in them. Just because videos aren't racking up views doesn't mean your posts won't reach your audience. Conduct a poll, make your presence felt, and see what your audience enjoys and expects from you. Once you've studied everything and gathered all the data, the toughest and longest phase begins, coming up with a fresh approach to your channel and content. From your research, it's likely apparent that almost everything needs an overhaul. This means changing the theme, a presentation style, editing, and so on. But this doesn't mean the new approach should be radically different from the old. Your investigation might reveal that the initial strategy you start with was spot on, and things went sideways after changing it. In that case, this phase might be simple for you, just revert to the beginning. However, if things aren't that rosy, you'll need to roll up your sleeves. To create a new image for yourself and the channel, check out the current scene in your niche. This is crucial if your channel went inactive months or even years ago. Reverting to the old ways might not cut it because those methods could be outdated now. So do your homework, study the current trends in your niche, see which videos are getting views, how material is presented, and so on. One. As the saying goes, knowledge is power. The more you understand your niche in today's context, the easier it will be to pick a relevant and appealing topic for your videos and channel. After gathering all your fresh insights, it's time to throw them into a blender and mix them up. Metaphorically, of course. Ideally, your new approach should be a clever blend of the old and the new. This way you can stay relevant while still keeping your own spark. The early videos on a channel are often driven by passion and enthusiasm, not purely commercial interests. In the beginning, videos are typically made because the creator is excited about the topic and their enthusiasm is Palpable. I believe that bringing back even a bit of that initial sparkle can be a huge boost when reviving a channel. Trust me, if a channel is made without love and a touch of fanaticism, it shows. If you're on camera reading a script about a topic you're not passionate about, viewers will notice. People are very good at reading emotions, not just through facial expressions, but also in the way content is done and edited. It might sound odd, but you can often sense a creator interest in their channel through their video editing. Editing can be as complex as one wants, but if the heart's not in it, no amount of fancy effects will save it. That's why it's crucial when reviving your channel to find those elements in yourself and your content that reignite that spark in your eyes. When there is genuine passion, even the simplest edits can feel big. You won't need flashy effects or intricate transitions. Simple and straightforward 
straightforward will do the trick. And what can best help convey that sparkle to your audience? The right video editor. For instance, I use Movavi Video Editor and recommend it to you. It's part of the Movavi Unlimited subscription that basically is a starter pack for beginner YouTubers. Movavi Unlimited is a unique annual plan that brings together the best of Movavi in one intuitive platform. It's not just the Movavi Video Editor, it also has tools for photo editing, screen recording, file conversion, and a range of handy apps for working with documents. On top of that, Movavi Unlimited grants yearly unlimited access to all effect packs from the Movavi Effects Store. The annual subscription offers access to nine software tools and a vast collection of effects, all for the price of a single app. And the best part, even a computer with average specs will run the editor smoothly. And now get ready to have your mind blown, folks an 80% discount on all the apps in an amazing Movavi Unlimited plan is a deal that's too good to pass up. But if you feel like focusing on video and photo editing only, just give Movavi Video Suite and Photo Editor a shot. Its price is 35% lower than Movavi Unlimited, but the creative potential is almost the same. So don't miss out on these offers and choose your fighter in the description. So once you figured out what needs to be done, the most basic task remains remains. Get started. I won't dive into a lengthy lecture about sticking to your new vision and doing so consistently. You already know this without my input. Plus, if you've managed a channel before, you're well aware of the time and effort various stages of video creation take, so I have full confidence in you. And that's why I think it's worth sharing a few more tips you might not have considered. When reviving a channel, three things are key. Increase consistency, audience engagement, and step in out of your comfort zone. Why the emphasis on increased consistency? Because you want to remind viewers, both old and new, of your presence. Your goal is to appear in their suggestions as often as possible. The more frequently you release videos, the louder the signal that you're back in action and producing great content. I understand that publishing videos consistently is challenging and doing so more frequently is even tougher, but no one said reviving a channel would be a walk in the park. I'm not sure about your previous creative process or how much you handle personally. Regardless, you'll need to invest even more time now. More time recording, brainstorming ideas, scripting and editing. If you previously dedicated a couple of hours a day, revival might demand four or even five. You see where I'm going with this. Clear out your schedule for the next few weeks. Engaging with your audience is a must. If in the past you rarely read or responded to comments, now you'll need to dive deep into them. Every video should have an element of audience interaction. You must be closer to your viewers. This will not only elevate your image, but also provide a clearer understanding of what your audience wants. It will help minimize the number of unwatched videos and ensure that each one aligns with your target audience's interests. Stepping out of your comfort zone combines everything mentioned above, dedicating more time to the channel, exploring new topics. As I mentioned, content should cater to audience interests. If they are interested in a topic you haven't covered before, perhaps it's time to give it a shot. While it's vital not to compromise your principles, being open to change is essential. Many face challenges when reviving a channel because it's tough to adjust their approach. Sometimes a channel briefly sparks back to life, only to die again. This happens when creators don't evolve or try new things. Don't fear stepping out of your comfort zone, success often lies beyond it, and I say this from personal experience. Reviving a channel isn't easy, but it's doable. Proper analysis, planning, the spark in the eyes, audience engagement, and catering to viewer preferences can breathe life into any channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time.